people just message me saying that one of the lambs that we reintroduced last night is looking too good. He can't stand up. Um, it seemed okay this morning when we checked at 5.30. Uh, it's now around 9, 9.30. Um, just had breakfast, did the morning chores. And he went out and yeah, it can't stand. So I've made it a bottle. Hopefully if I give it some food, I'll give it some energy. To know maybe something wrong with it. Maybe it can't suck or no one of them wasn't taking the bottle for me last night. <sighs> it might be why she rejected it. it might not be her lamb. A bit of confusion with who belongs to who. Um, so hopefully we can save its life. We'll probably become an inside shape for a few weeks. Bottle feed it for six weeks. And then we could introduce it to the herd. Um, hopefully she gets accepted. all of it for now, Baba. It looks soft. So we've got Lucky the lamb inside. I put a nappy on her, cut a towel hole for her, and I put one of Zara's old jumpers on. Just keep her warm. She's not too sure about the nappy because she keeps falling over with it. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. She's starting to walk no, she now. Does this. <laughs> What's wrong with her? You can pat her. Just warming up a bottle for her now. <laughs> I've got Zara on my back having a piggy ride. Mom, can I I'll show you how to do it as well. Yes, I do it. You can can do have the next turn, Jai. <laughs> confusing yesterday the one that we reunited with its mum um, it was always with its mum but when I went to take them into the shed it just kind of collapsed so I took it inside to get it warm um, and then we we're able to reunite it later that night then we found the dead lamb and I think that belongs to a different sheep so the other sheep that we've got locked up and I don't know if maybe this one belongs to her too but Maybe she had twins and she had this one first and then it wandered off because it wasn't too far from where the dead lamb was. Um, and then she was too concerned about the other lamb that didn't make it. So she just kept going back and licking it and lost this one and maybe forgot about it. Um, and then we had the other sheep give birth later that afternoon and so they're locked up too. I, I, this, guy, this girl um, is going to be an inside lamb um, until she's old enough to join the herd. I'm at about six weeks old. Um, so we'll just have to bottle feed her at six times a day um, for the first four days. And then it goes down to, I think it's four or five feeds, but the feeds increase in size. And so I'm just heating up her bottle. Um, she's got a lot more strength when Paul saw her this morning. Um, she was laying down, looked like she was gonna um, not make it. But after a bottle, she had heaps of energy and she cuddled up and had her sleep on my lap. So we'll give her her second bottle for today and she'll have a nap inside while I go help Paul move the pigs. Before we run out of 
Nikki isn't doing too good. Um, she got a little diarrhea. She hasn't got much energy and she won't take a bottle. She was the only one that was taking a bottle. Now she just refuses to suck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to um, milk both mums. I'm not sure if I want to milk the one who had the stillborn because um, I don't want to bring on max mastitis for her. I just wanted to dry up. She's not accepting a lamb, I just wanted to dry up. Um, but I'm thinking that if I can um, milk the other two mums. Oh, no. oh, I thought I was dead. Okay. Um, I can meal with the other two mums, then I can give it some colostrum and give it a bit of a chance. I haven't really seen this one drink. I saw it try before, didn't really latch on. I saw it drink last night. You know, she's just sleeping or she's just too tired to stand. I don't know. I'm kind of done with today. This is the jar that Paul brought to, for me to milk into. Let's hope I've got a good aim. Oh, I've got some. I got a little bit of milk. Hopefully that'll be enough to give it some energy. And I'll try again. So the lamb accepted the milk and I made it a little bit um, of electrolytes. It took a little bit of the electrolytes, not much, maybe 10 mils. She only had seven mils of the other mother's milk. So we're going out to try and milk her again. Um, she couldn't hold her head up, which isn't, isn't good, but um, with a little bit of, of a feed, she is holding her head up a little bit. So we've put her in front of the fire. And now we're just going to head out and try and get as much milk as we can from Mama. Um, and maybe try and milk her again tonight. Well, got quite a bit, so I'm really, really happy. I used some lube. <laughs> um, and it really helped milk her, so... Um, I've got one more sachet in my pocket. I might have to go buy some more at the shops tonight. But, um... Hopefully that helps save the lamb's life. So I got about 50 mils of colostrum. So I've just got 25 mils in the syringe. I'm gonna try and um, force feed him. Her, sorry. They're calling you a boy. That's nothing. I'm happy to force feed all that in. So we fought pretty hard to, to save Lucky, but Lucky just passed away around 8.30 tonight. We did everything we could, um, brought her inside, tried to reunite her with one of the sheep who had given birth. We've actually tried all three. We tried formula, we tried electrolytes, we tried colostrum. Um, nothing. 
happening. Nothing really like so. Pretty sad. We haven't told the kids yet. Um, it's the harsh, I suppose the harsh reality of being out here on the farm is that you're going to have animals die and you're going to have animals die under your care. So we've had two lambs die in 24 hours. And we had woolly mammoth die last week as well. Um, so we're just going to check on the last two lambs. One of them's super healthy. The other one's a little bit smaller. Um, her mum's definitely got milk because she's the one I milked for um, Lucky. Um, but I haven't seen her nurse, but her mum's her mum's a Wiltshire and she's a little bit more skittish than the Dorpers. Um, but I have seen her wee. Um, so she's definitely getting something. But we're just hoping that she survives too. She's out of the cold and in um, one of the pens. Um, so yeah, we'll just pop out. It's too dark to take you guys with me, but we'll pop out and have a look and make sure they're okay. And I'll let you guys know in the morning what happened.